Christian de la Huerta with Soulful Power. And I'm part of this series of, of sharing content with you that I've uh, picked up along the way. I wanted to speak today with you about letting go, the power of letting go. And there are two constants in every retreat that I, that I offer, whether it's got to do with relationships or personal empowerment or women's empowerment or living a heroic life or life of meaning and purpose. One is the breath work that, that we always talk about because I have yet to come across a practice that is as simple and as effective and that heals as, uh, as profoundly in so many ways as the simple breathing practice. The other thing that I always talk about and that I always teach is the ego. The ego as part of the psyche, there's a part of us, part of our psyches that um, one of the functions of it is to grab onto things. Um, hold on to things and, and then it will do anything to resist change. So not only does it hold on to people and things and uh, try to possess them and control them, but it, contr it tries to also hold on to our experience, our own experience, so that it controls what, we, what we're trying to feel and what we communicate and, and represses and controls emotions and it's filtering everything. Um, it also resists change. So anything that, that signifies change um, even if that change is at best from a comfortable situation to at worst a miserable one, it doesn't care. Its, its job is to maintain the status quo just the way that it is. Which is a recipe for, for disaster for us humans. You know, because a lot of times we will find ourselves in situations that are sucking the very life force out of us and yet we're stuck. Uh, we can't seem to get ourselves to be able to break free from that. Um, there's huge power in letting go and, and, and connecting, it to, connecting it to the power of the breath. Just breathing, centering ourselves, using the breath as a way to go within, to drop within, is a way that we can begin to, to loosen the ego's tight hold on everyone and everything. Um, it, it just begins to soften everything. Uh, there's a great story uh, from a book, um, Adventures of a Reluctant Messiah by of a Reluctant Messiah by Richard Buck, in which he tells in the beginning of the book um, the story of these ri river creatures that live at the bottom of a river, and they spend their life holding on to stones at the bottom of the river, holding on for dear life, as the as the current is buffeting them, and um, that's their life. They live holding on and in fear of what might happen if they let go. So finally, one of the creatures decides that it's had enough, like it can't hold on anymore. And it starts telling its friends, I've got to let go. I'm going to let go. I can't stand this life anymore. And the other ones are like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? You're going to die if you let go. Like, you don't know what's going to happen to you. And, and the creature's like, I can't take it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. I don't care if I die. I've had enough. And they're like, no, 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 please don't. What about your family? What about... What about us? And he goes, I'm, I'm sorry, but I've got to let go. I can't do this anymore. And it lets go. And sure enough, initially, the, the current takes, takes it and it's bumping against rocks and being buffeted this way and that and um, out of control and turning upside down. But suddenly, as the current continues, it begins to elevate. It begins to kind of get the hang of it. And suddenly, it's now floating. I was like, oh, this is kind of nice, you know, floating down current as the current is taking it. And somewhere downstream is another village of river people also hanging on for dear life. And so they look up, one of them looks up and it sees this other creature just floating around. He goes, oh, look, a messiah. Um, so the point of the story is just let go. Let go, be willing to let go and take a breath and it's going to be fine. Eventually, you're going to find yourself soaring. Yeah, you'll be buffeted a little bit. You might get hit here and there, get a couple of bruises, but eventually you're going to be soaring and you're going to be free. Thank you. Um, for more information about this kind of work and, and more content like this, please visit soulfulpower.com and take a breath. Thank you.